Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, TOEIC learners, English learners, people who just love grammar, vocabulary. Today we're going to look at two difficult questions on a TOEIC test, and I'm going to show you how to get the answer. So, let's get into these questions right away. Here's the first question. Unfortunately, grammar cannot help you get this answer. It is all about context of the statement and vocabulary knowledge. So, let's get the context. It is simple to understand the idea. I ordered 10 items. One was out of stock, so one was unavailable. The store didn't have it. Therefore, the store adjusted or changed my invoice. Now, an invoice is a list of goods that have been sold, work that has been done, and it shows you must pay. Here's an example of an invoice. Okay, so they changed my invoice to the correct order. Now let's look at the adverbs given. Let's start with excessively. Excessive means too much. This is the adjective. There is too much homework in this class. So, there is an excessive amount of homework in the class. The amount of people at the wedding was excessive. So, there were too many people, in your opinion. Now, excessively is the adverb. He smokes excessively. He sleeps excessively. So, this is all the time, too much. As you can see, they changed the invoice excessively or adjusted the invoice excessively. It doesn't really match the situation. It doesn't really make sense. They did it too much? Why? Because one of my orders was wrong? Wasn't there? So, eliminate C. Next, eliminate B, continuously. Continuously means non-stop. It keeps happening. For example, crime doesn't stop in the city. So, crime is continuous. Crime happens continuously. If somebody changes or alters an invoice continuously, they keep doing it again and again. This is not logical in this situation. So, eliminate B. Now we have essentially or accordingly. Well, the answer is accordingly. This is related to according to the rules, according to the situation, which means it matches the rules, it matches the situation. Here's an example. The soccer player touched the ball with his hand. According to the rules, he received a red card. So, the adverb, accordingly, he rece received a red card. If we look at this TOEIC question, we can think the item I ordered was not in stock. According to the situation, so one item was not in stock, the company adjusted the invoice. So, accordingly, so, according to the situation, the company changed the invoice, adjusted the invoice. Therefore, the answer is A. Okay, so let's look at another TOEIC question. This one's very difficult. Before we start, let's review some key vocabulary. The verb audit means to officially examine financial records or to look closely at the financial situation. An example, the government audited the company's financial records to make sure it hadn't hid any money. Now, audit can also be a noun, and it is an official examination or report of financial records. It is official. Here's an example. The government did or conducted an audit of the company's financial records. Okay, now for me, even though I'm honest with my taxes, I don't want the government auditing me. So now that we have that vocabulary, let's simplify. Let's take out words we don't need. So if we simplify, we could say blank auditing the company, the accountant will give a report. Okay, so let's start eliminating. First, let's get rid of D. When we use according to, 
It's a person, a source, rules. It will not be a gerund. It will not be an action. But it's according to maybe a booklet or a magazine. For example, according to the company handbook, employees must wear safety glasses while in the factory. So the employees did this accordingly. Or according to government regulations, auditors must submit the final report on Friday. According to the audit, notice the audit, not auditing, but the audit that was completed, the company did not pay enough taxes. It would be wrong to say according to auditing the company. This is not a source. This is a gerund phrase. It's basically an action in a noun form. Therefore, we're not picking according to. Next, eliminate B, in addition. When you use in addition, you will have in addition, comma, subject verb, or in addition to noun, comma, subject verb. An example, she needs to finish the audit. In addition, comma, she needs to provide a report. Or, she needs to finish the audit. In addition to finishing the audit, or in addition to that, she needs to provide a report. There is no to before auditing here. Therefore, this cannot be the answer. Now we have A or C. Eliminate C. As expected means as many people expect, as some people expect, as it was expected. You will use that, then comma, subject verb. Here's an example. Many people thought that Apple would sell the most smartphones in 2022, and this happened. So, as expected, Apple sold the most smartphones in 2022. As you can see, as expected, comma, subject, verb. There is no comma here after as expected, and there is no subject, verb, after it. Therefore, the answer is upon. Upon is a preposition that means as soon as, when, just after. An example, as soon as I finish the report, I will send it to you. Or, upon finishing the report, I will send it to you. So if we look at this question, we're saying as soon as the accountant audits the financial records of the company, the accountant will be submitting an official report. So we can shorten that, and because the subject is the same, accountant, accountant, we can take out accountant and turn audit into a gerund. Therefore, we have upon auditing the financial records of the company, the accountant will be submitting an official report. So the answer is A, upon, as soon as, when, just after. Thank you so much for watching this lesson. I think your TOEIC score has just improved. Please subscribe, like, share, comment, hit that button, and have a wonderful day. Talk to you soon.